Hey, I'm Jake Morrow with Resignation Brewery. I'm here with Andrea Fisher, one of the baddest beer mile champions in the world. She's the female masters 40 plus world record, record holder and the second fastest female time ever. Right. Uh, she's gonna give me some tips today, which I really need. You're like the Zen master of the beer mile. Yes. What was your time? 7.28. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, why don't we start with what do I eat on race day? What do I eat in the morning? Uh, you keep it light. Not a lot. You want to eat early. Um, and then I would say really nothing big at four hours out. Okay. I did half a banana and then a piece of toast. But like for me, my go-to will be peanut butter and jelly. Okay. Um, uh, as I understand it, Pat ate a tuna melt that morning <laughs> he had tuna. and tr didn't train at all. <laughs> he had tuna. That's some bravado, man. <laughs> it's just so like, cocky. Yes, no respect. So cocky. So we have a lot of people from our office doing it that think this is pretty easy. Can you describe what it actually feels like on this whole process, the third and the fourth beer? Well, let me describe the first time that I ever did one of these. It was awful. It went so bad, so fast. When you chug that first beer and you hit that first lap, your body, you're essentially your body's going like, what the fuck's going on? The only equation I, or something I could equate it to was I felt like a can of mousse. And I was trying to run and the foam was coming out of me and I, it was just, it was so built up carbonation wise. And that's when you start getting that kind of burpy kind of, oh, yeah. and then you start tearing up and you're, I mean, I was waddling, like I was. <laughs> I learned that you really got to get rid of that during your run. So there is no shame in burping, belching, getting the gas out of it. And so that you can get the room. I don't know how four of these fits in here. It, it's not easy. Like. By the end of it, you're wild. So it'll be right? like all swishing around, yeah. and then some of it's gonna have to be housed in my esophagus. Don't don't think like that. As far as the actual strategy for the race, do you take it easy on the first lap and then ramp up? For me, at least my advice I give to people is put blinders on and go by feel. Go okay. by your own feel so that you're not breathing hard, that you're not just, you know, coming to that first beer or the second beer at that point, just you know, not able to drink. So the third one, I, I think I took me it took me 30 seconds to chug. But see, that so take matter. your time though. It's all about the drinking. It's not about the running. Yeah, I completely agree. <laughs> see, that's where Pat blew it. If you look at the tape, Pat horks miserably at the at the third beer. Did you say hork? Or he horks it. Like, what's a hork? That's how you say vomit. You hork? Is that a thing? Is that hork? Well, thank you, Andrea. Appreciate you coming Cheers. out here and training me. I obviously need all the help I can get. I'm racing John Rezik on December 1st. You know the bull you're chasing. Yeah. This motherfucker's got what, 120 on you? 80? I don't know. He's a Yeah, big like boy. 340. <laughs> uh, he's likely going to be much faster on the running part. He's almost certainly going to throw up, so I assume that I'm going to win. With Andrea's help, it's much more likely. Thank you very much. <laughs> You want me to win? I want you to win. I want me to now win. Now I want you to win. Now Why I'm would in. you want Jake to fucking win? I don't anything. want anyone. I want both of you. I wanted both of you guys vomiting miserably. Okay, another thing that you need to do. You need to talk to your parents before the race. Get a call in. Talk to them. Maybe I mean, I'm sure they'd me. love to hear that their son, who is perpetually a child, who never grew up, never bore grandchildren for them, <laughs> never got married for that matter, is about to go run a mile around a circular track and chug four beers. My dad, when I tell him that, is gonna be like, so, sounds like a Tuesday. What do you want me to do? Just say I'm proud of you. Fucking, I'm proud of you, son.